Hey guys, so right here I have a duck egg that I'm incubating. So I'm going to just talk about how I got the egg. I don't want you guys to think that I took it from the nest or anything like that. I was actually at the duck pond with my family who we went fishing. And on the way back to the car, my nephew ended up spotting it in the floor, just in the middle of the park. Um, I have a feeling that maybe the duck was couldn't hold it in enough to go lay it at the nest. It was literally just in the middle of the park. So I ended up getting it and it was very cold. So I really didn't think it was even going to hatch or have a chance. But my sister told me to try it out. So hey, why not, right? So I ended up just getting a bucket, just a little plain bucket. And I ended up putting a shirt under all the bedding just to keep it uh, safe and warm. I ended up putting the Carefresh bedding. It's like a hamster, bird, reptile bedding. And I also have like this fluff. Just just to keep it warm and safe and soft and everything. Right here, um, because the two things that I read about that is very important for the egg is temperature and the humidity. So at the temperature, um, I don't have an incubator. I wish I did. But I wasn't about to go buy an incubator. I don't have that kind of money to be spending like 70, 80 bucks on an egg that I don't even know if it's even going to hatch because like I said when I found it it was cold it was it was like about 6 p.m. or 7 and it was really cold so that's why I didn't go get an incubator I just kind of try to make my own and I'm using just a light one of these with the light bulb it's a 75 watt and I just have the digital thermometer the little thing right there and then the thermometer, right? Reading 95.2. Um, they were saying that it should be like about 99 or 100 degrees, but it gets like it gets really hot, like where the egg is. Like I don't want to burn it because it's it's not an incubator, you know. It, it's the light. So um, I just kind of you know keep an eye on it. In my room, I do turn on the AC, so I have to keep constant um, checking it to make sure that it's not dropping or it's not getting too cold or things like that. Um, also, I just got this little dish, and I poked a bunch of holes on it all over, all around, and I filled it up with moss. I wet this um, just with a spray water bottle, and I just kind of wet it, kind of let it hit the walls a little bit so it could just stay humid. Also, I wrote an X and a Y on the egg because I need to be flipping it every I think six hours at least four times a day so what I do I kind of get my fingers wet see how they're wet and I just kind of like you know kind of try touching it a little bit just to stay a little bit more um, moist because what I was reading that the duck eggs has to stay a little bit more moist because when the mom duck goes swimming she comes back to her nest all wet and she sits on her eggs so they stay humid that way but it's barely been three days. I tried candling it. I could see the yolk inside, but there's no veins. They say that you might start seeing the veins after seven to 10 days. So once I start seeing the veins, I will definitely do an update on this video. And also it does take 28 days for the egg to hatch. So just make sure you guys subscribe just to keep a lookout on the updates. And hopefully everything goes good. Wish me luck guys. Thanks for watching.